Technology has advanced to a point where we can transform our ideas into stunning images and videos with just a few clicks, thanks to AI. But imagine having all the world's leading AI tools at your fingertips, all in one place, ready to obey your every command. Rubber Band makes this a reality, and it's simpler than you could ever imagine. Let's shape the future of creativity together. Hi everyone, my name is Iman, and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube Channel. First, we visit the Rubber Band website. We need to create a user account. To do this, click on the Get Started for Free button located in the top right corner of the site. You can create an account using your personal email or by using a Google account. I click on continue with Google. I select one of the Google accounts that is already logged in on my system and log into the rubber band website. In the bottom left corner, there is the user profile menu. You can log in and out and also check your account balance and credits through this menu. Let's review the plans offered by this website. To do this, click on the pricing option in the top right corner of the site. Creating a user account on rubber band is completely free and upon account creation, you receive 80 free tokens daily for generating images and videos. These credits are replenished the next day. Additionally, in the free plan, the maximum number of generations per day is 100. If this plan isn't sufficient for you, the standard plan, costing $25 per month, offers 4,000 tokens per month. A very important point I must highlight is to pay attention to the publication date of this tutorial. There is a possibility that these plans might change or even be discontinued in the near future. So, if there are any changes to this website, don't accuse me of lying because everything has been documented in this tutorial. We return to the home section. I click on the community option. On this page, the works generated by other users are displayed. By clicking on any of the images, we can view them in a larger size. By clicking on the configure option, all the technical details of the image generation, including the prompt, negative prompt, and the model used to generate the image are displayed. At the top of the home page, there are two tabs named image and video. This option is set to image by default. In the image tab, there is a text box for entering prompts and a wide range of tools for generating images. What tools you ask? In the top left corner of the prompt box, click on the text to image option and numerous options are displayed. With the text to image option, you can turn your ideas into images using text. With the upscale image feature, you can enhance the size and quality of images. With the remove object feature, you can remove specific items from the image simply by entering a prompt. The change object feature allows you to transform one item into something else by entering a prompt. The change background option lets you replace the background. With the discuss image option, this AI analyzes the image and can generate a prompt about the image for you. Using the style transfer feature, you can define a new style for the images. To generate the first image, I click on the text to image option. In the top right corner, in the prompt box, I click on the Flux Pro button, which is a green button. In the number of images section, I can select how many images are created per generation, from one to four. In the aspect ratio section, I can choose the format of the image, whether vertical rectangle, horizontal rectangle, or square. If you are creating content for social media platforms like Instagram or TikTok, naturally vertical rectangle and square formats are suitable for you. However, since I'm creating content for YouTube, I set it to a horizontal rectangle. In the model dropdown, you can choose the model that generates the images from Flux Schnell, Flux Dev, Flux Pro, and Flux Ultra. Among these, image generation with Flux Schnell is free, while the others deduct a certain number of tokens from your credits, as indicated next to the models. For generating the first image, I choose Flux Pro, which deducts 20 tokens from my daily credits. I click on the Save option. I have a pre-written prompt. I right-click in the text box and paste it. The prompt is essentially your needs and ideas written in text form. The more complete and detailed your ideas are, the better the AI understands your needs resulting in better image generation. Then, I click on the blue button in the top right corner of the prompt box, which is the image generation button. The prompt is queued. After a short while, the images are generated, and four thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view the images. The first image generated by rubber band is stunning. 
My idea of Donald Trump in a Santa Claus outfit next to a cool snowman on a snowy day has been incredibly brought to life by rubber band. The second image has some issues, so I skip it. The power of rubber band's AI in converting text to images is truly impressive. By clicking the download button in the top right corner of the images, you can save them to your device. When you hover the mouse over the thumbnails, clicking on the arrow icon shows a drop-down menu, which also has a download option. Let's check out the capabilities of the other AI models on Rubberband for generating images. I have another pre-written prompt, which I paste into the text box. I click on the hamburger icon. In the model section, I choose Flux Ultra, which deducts 28 tokens per generation. Then I click the blue button in the top right corner to generate the image. The prompt is queued. After a short time, the images are generated, and four thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view the images. The images generated by Flux Ultra, in my opinion, are fantastic. It's still unbelievable to me that we've reached a point where technology can turn text into images. By clicking the download button in the top right corner of the images, you can save them to your device. From the left menu, I click on Gallery. In this section, we can access all the works we've generated. By clicking on the image thumbnails, we can view them in a new slider and in a larger size. At the bottom of the slider, there is a trash can icon for deleting images. For example, I delete one of the images that had technical issues during generation. Using one of Rubberband's models called Flux Chanel, we can generate images for free. Let's test and review it. I have a pre-written prompt, which I paste into the text box. I click on the hamburger icon in the top right corner. From the model drop-down, I select Flux Chanel. I click on the Save option and then click on the blue button in the top right corner. The prompt is queued. After a short time, the images are generated and four thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view the images. These images were generated for free using Flux Chanel and in my opinion, the text-to-image conversion by Flux Chanel is exceptional. An interesting point. Click on the Get Free Credits option in the bottom left corner of the site. A pop-up appears, stating that if you follow Rubberband's account on social media platforms like X and Discord, you'll receive 25 tokens for each platform. This way, you can earn more free tokens for generating images. Now we come to the Flux Dev model. Can this model deliver amazing results? Let's find out. I have another pre-written prompt, which I paste into the text box. I click on the hamburger icon. In the model section, I select Flux Dev, which deducts 8 tokens per generation. Then, I click the image generation button. The prompt is queued. After a few seconds, the images are generated, and four thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view the images in a larger size. The images generated by Flux Dev are acceptable. When hovering the mouse over the image thumbnails, clicking the arrow icon shows a drop-down menu. Here, I click on the download option. The performance of Flux Dev in converting text to images is truly remarkable. Using Rubberband, we can also access major AI video generators like Runway, Kling, Minimax, and Hyper, offering features like text-to-video and image-to-video conversion. Next, I'll demonstrate the process of animating static images and converting them into videos. On the home page, I click on the Video tab. I click on the Start Frame option in the prompt box. The Upload tab allows you to upload a desired image from your device. However, in the Select from Gallery tab, I select an image that we generated earlier using Flux Dev and click on Upload. After this, I click on Gen 3, which is the default option in the first slot. As you can see, there are many big names in this list, and each of them is a major player in the video generation world. Through Rubberband, we have access to all of them in one place. In this example, I select Gen 3 Alpha Turbo, which belongs to Runway. Then, I set the aspect ratio, and since I'm creating content for YouTube, a 16 to 9 ratio is appropriate. At this stage, we need to describe in text what should happen in the image and which items should be animated. There are no limits. For this example, I want the Joker in this image to smile and get excited. I write this instruction in the text box and click the blue generate button. The prompt is queued. After a short time, 
The static image is animated by Gen 3 Alpha and displayed in an online video editor. Let's play the video. I'm in shock. We're living in an era where a static image is turned into a video by artificial intelligence. It's unbelievable. Just a few seconds ago, this was a motionless image. The AI has breathed life into the image, turning it into a live, animated video. There are many features in this online video editor. It includes a timeline, split video functionality, and even the ability to add transitions to video tracks. You can also insert text into the video using this online editor. I'll cover this in future tutorials. Right-clicking on this video shows options to delete or download the video. Did this tutorial teach you something new? We're waiting to see if you're on board or not. Hit that like button right now and share this video with your friends. A new adventure is just beginning, so get ready for an exciting journey. The next video is going to be something unbelievable. So subscribe now, turn on the notification bell, and make sure you don't miss a thing. AI is shaping the future, and you can be part of this change. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. We're going to blow your mind there too.